Orange chicken made with ground chicken, four other ingredients. 20 minutes, one pan, plenty of time to throw broccoli in the air fryer, a little bit of rice and cauliflower rice blend, and then you have these meal prep bowls, made in no time at all, macro friendly, high protein. I'll show you how to make it real quick. Broccoli is boring, but I'm gonna show you how to make it two ways. We'll go air fryer first, hit it with a little avocado oil spray, salt, pepper, go into an air fryer at 400 degrees for four to five minutes. My air fryer cooks pretty fast, so you may need to go a little bit longer. You're just looking for a little charring, tender broccoli, bright green color. Another option is to throw it into a saute pan with a tablespoon of olive oil. Hit it with a little salt and pepper, give it a stir, and then add maybe two to three tablespoons of water, and then throw a cover on the pan. A few minutes later, you should have bright green, tender, charred in spots broccoli. And now we're done with the boring part. Let's move on to the sauce. So this sauce is a spin on a recipe from EasyDinnerIdeas.com, which I'll link below. It's a simple mix of sugar-free orange marmalade, barbecue sauce, chili garlic sauce, and low sodium soy sauce. Sriracha also works great here. We'll mix all that together and just set it aside while you brown and fully cook a pound of extra lean ground chicken and about a half tablespoon of oil. And once the chicken's fully cooked, add your sauce, stir it all together, and just cook for a few minutes until the sauce evenly coats the chicken. You might get some caramelization around the edges. You can add a little bit of water if you need to deglaze the pan or you want to cook the sauce down a little bit more. Now when it comes to serving, I like a blend of jasmine and cauliflower rice to keep this kind of low carb, but you still get the real rice action. I'll put ratios on rice, serving sizes, macros, all that good stuff, as well as a link to the printable recipe down in the description below. We have about one fourth of the recipe here with some freshly sliced scallions, toasted sesame seeds, a couple of fresh orange wedges, a little bit of chili crisp or sriracha is perfect here. And you're ready to dig in. Hope you enjoy this.